Good evening from London. I am in London Paddington Station, one of the busiest train stations in the entire city. And tonight we're gonna have a pretty special experience. We're gonna go all the way to the western part of England to a place called Penzance in Cornwall. And we're gonna do it on a fancy sleeper train. We're gonna be traveling for about eight hours, for over 300 miles, but I'm gonna have my own bed, my own private cabin, and the train even has its own restaurant on board. So before we hop on, I do wanna go check out the GWR First Class Lounge, which we get access to with our tickets. So let's go. Right next to platform one is the GWR First Class Lounge, which you can get access to if you have a first class ticket on any of GWR's trains, or you buy the supplemental sleeper cabin, which is what we have this evening. So we get to go in and check it out. Hello. Good it smells like the queen's been here. I don't know what that means, but it just does. A little bit of history for you. This older part of the first class lounge was actually Queen Victoria's waiting room. So it dates back to the 1800s. And you can tell because it does look very old school, Victorian era, of course, English decor. It looks beautiful in here. There's also a more modern part of the lounge and that's where you'll find the food and drinks and stuff like that. I'm not an animal. Hi, thank you so much. So there's only two sleeper trains that go each day, one from Paddington and one from Penzance going in the opposite directions. And they do let you get on the train an hour before departure. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hop on and get settled in. Let's go. Very tiny hallways. Thirteen. Home sweet home. By the way, this video is made possible by our sponsors, Google Pixel. I have been using Google Pixels for years and I just got my hands on the brand new Google Pixel 7 Pro. There are lots of new features with the Google Pixel 7 Pro, but as always, my favorite is how good the camera is. One of the best new features is cinematic blur, which makes the subject of your videos look crisp and in focus, and it makes your videos look like they were shot on a professional camera. I also love Night Sight, which lets me take amazing photos even when it's really dark. To find out more about the Google Pixel 7 Pro, there is a link in the description box of the video to see all of the features that it has. Okay, let's get back to our trip to Cornwall on the Night Riviera sleeper train. Was that, sorry, that was yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Welcome to my private suite on the Night Riviera. I will give you a tour, come on in. Let's start with the most important part. The bed looks a little narrow, but will be good for me. This can be a double cabin, so this actually comes down and it is another bed. It would be a little bit tight, I think, if you had two people, but it's just me in here. This comes down for a tray, which we'll have breakfast on in the morning. And this, oh, it's this way. makes a little sofa situation like this. Over this way, we have, first of all, the window that looks out. <laughs> onto Paddington Station at the moment, because we haven't left yet, but we'll eventually look onto the Corners countryside. And under here, our very own little sink, so you can freshen up in the morning and brush your teeth and not have to go out to the toilet. 
There is no toilet or shower facility in the individual cabin, which if you've seen my review of the Caledonian Sleeper, you'll know that they do have in the cabins your own private toilet and shower. Not this time, but I think we'll be okay. To the left here, we have a little closet where you can hang a jacket and clothes if you need to. I'll put my jacket in there in a second. There's also a couple of water bottles down below if you get thirsty. And then there's room under the bed to put your luggage. Okay, on the bed, we've got two pillows. They're fairly firm, but could probably use a little bit more. Test those later. And what's nice about this sleeper is that the bed comes already made, which some sleeper chains do not have that as standard. I don't really wanna be making my own bed when I come into a very small space like this, so I'm glad it's already done. And actually the sheets are quite silky. Feels nice. A few things over here. Standard British plugs. Super handy if you need to do any work overnight or if you like to charge your phone overnight like I do, plus two USB plugs. And then these, oh, it's brighter now. There we go. These control the lights in the cabin right behind your head so you don't have to get up. We have the temperature controls, which they've told us that it's basically either very cold or very hot, and those are the options. If you're traveling with more than one person, like I said, you can get this to be two beds. Just put this down. Or if you prefer to have a little bit more space, you and your other person can get two rooms next to each other and then this door opens and connects them. So you have a little bit more space and are not completely on top of each other. In terms of amenities and little extras that you get in your room, this is basically it, a little bar of soap. I guess I was kind of thinking maybe there was gonna be a little kit that had earplugs and an eye mask and other little things, but this is it. Now we're gonna check out the toilet and go to the little restaurant. There's no bathroom in the room, so my room's over there, and this is the toilet at the end of the carriage. Quite small and basic, not really a lot to show. No two-way traffic down here. In between the sleeper cars and the economy cars, there's a whole cafe area with sitting options for groups, solo travelers, and there's even a sofa. You can order things from the bar like wine, beer, hot chocolate, and lots of little snacks. Then you can take it back to your seat or your cabin, or you can actually sit in the cafe car and enjoy it there. Personally, I think this is one of the best things about traveling by train versus plane, that you have the option to get up walk around and you have lots of space to have your food and your drink and you don't have to feel squished into your little seat. We're moving. <laughs> Leaving Paddington Station now, we have left about 25 minutes late, so it's 10 past 12, so getting a bit late, but here we go. It's almost 1 a.m. now, so about seven hours left of the train to go. So change into my BJs, brush my teeth, time to climb into bed, see how it is. Pretty comfy. Hope I don't fall off in the middle of the night. Feels a bit narrow, but I can make it work. And it seems like the train sounds aren't very loud yet. We are gonna be stopping for an hour in Exeter. That'll be the first stop, so we'll see how loud it is there. I also am a terrible sleeper, and the last time I took a sleeper train up to Edinburgh, I feel like I didn't sleep a wink, so we'll report back in the morning and let you know if I got any sleep. Fingers crossed. Good morning from Cornwall. It is a quarter to seven and they have just dropped off our breakfast in bed. 
I got a creamy porridge. Um, on behind the camera, I got a sausage bacon roll. Um, and then we've got tea, coffee, and biscuits. So gonna dive into this and then get ready to get off the train. My sleep last night um, wasn't great, but I was very, very comfortable. This bed was actually totally fine with the narrowness and I was super comfortable. And the train is not that loud. I think I'm just not a good sleeper. So, um, but yeah, I've, I was comfy and felt really cozy and good while I was laying here trying to sleep and my thoughts just running through my head. Now to book this sleeper train is kind of complicated, so let me explain. There are a few direct trains from London to Penzance and the reverse every day during the day. These trains usually take around five and a half hours and there are two options for travel during the day, economy and first class. But how do you book a sleeper cabin? Well, there is only one sleeper train per day in each direction every day of the week, except Saturdays. These trains take eight hours instead of the usual five and a half. So to book a sleeper cabin, you simply buy a one-way economy ticket and then upgrade your seat to a cabin by buying a supplement called Cabin Supplement. This cabin supplement can be anywhere from 40 pounds to 100 pounds more on top of the cost of your economy ticket. I paid 75 pounds for my economy ticket from London to Penzance, plus 55 pounds for the cabin supplement, which made my total ticket 130 pounds. And I actually paid for it myself. I think this is a pretty good price, considering the usual price of any ticket on a train in the UK is super expensive. And I had all that space to myself and I didn't have to pay for a hotel for the night. It's 8 a.m. We have arrived in Penzance, Cornwall. Overall, that was a great experience. Even though I didn't sleep very well, it was very comfortable and cozy. The staff were amazing. And it's great to get the travel out of the way while you're sleeping versus wasting five and a half hours of the day on the train down here, or even worse, potentially getting stuck in traffic in a car, making it all the way down here. So I would do it again and I would recommend. If you like this video, I have a couple others where I'm on trains, so to watch one of those, click one of the boxes popping up around me. Trains, trains, trains.